in the league's 50th anniversary, your Wheat Kings are the champions. Welcome to episode number four of We Are Brandon. Today we're sitting down with Doug Murray, general manager of the Murray dealership right here in Brandon. Thank you for joining us, Doug. Thank you for having me, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, for some people, like just a recap, it's just a really general conversation about getting to know you. There's no real serious questions. It's just a fireside conversation in that. So um, starting off, how long have you lived in Brandon for now? <clears throat> Well, I've lived in Brandon since I was five years old, and I'm 62 now, so I can't quite do the math. And uh, before that, I was in Surus, and I'm um, kind of proud that my both my grandparents uh, are farmers from this area, and my my grandfather Murray was born in Lyleton, Manitoba, uh, in a sod hut in the 1890s. So uh, both sides of the family. Uh, have uh, strong rural Manitoba roots and uh, date back to when people first started arriving here. Yeah, okay, perfect. Now, um, since you've been in Brandon, what's your favorite part about living in Brandon and what makes Brandon so special for you? Well, I would say my favorite part about living in Brandon is the people. I really like rural Manitoba people. They uh, good, honest, uh, basic people, really uh, great to deal with, uh, just my type of people. and. Uh, I also like how close uh, Brandon is to rural Manitoba. I love rural Manitoba. I like uh, the wheat fields, uh, even when they're snowy, and I just I just like uh, everything that you find in, in rural Manitoba. I get out there as, as much as I can. Perfect. Now, um, one thing we try to do with this series is get to know get to know you as a person a little bit. So, if somebody isn't a real close friend of you, um, what is something kind of unique about yourself that that you'd like to share? Uh, well. Uh, uh, I think I'm uh, a bit of a well-balanced person in a lot of ways. Uh, I do I do enjoy business, and uh, I also enjoy uh, other activities. And uh, uh, one of my main leisure activities uh, that maybe a lot of people don't know about is I fly an airplane, a twin-engine airplane. I've got my uh, my instrument rating, so I can fly uh, in the clouds. And uh, and uh, hey, Grant. And. Uh, so that's that would be maybe something. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that's kind of a unique one because there's not too many people that uh, that do have airplanes in that. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. It's a not a huge air. It's a it's a little airplane. Not a not a real fancy one. Yeah. Um, what uh, what drives you every day to make yourself better? Like what what do you wake up wanting to do every day to improve who you are? Well, that's a good question, Ryan. Uh, I'm probably guilty of not uh, driving myself to be better every day. Uh, uh, um, what drives me a lot though is my life's work is the auto business uh, so it's really important to me that we do a very very good job for our uh, customers and our employees in the auto business so really what drives me is I want to be I want to have the best car dealership anywhere for both our customers and our employees and that really drives me you know we only get to live life once and uh, It'd be a shame uh, to just do it uh, mediocre, and I really, every day, uh, uh, I try and improve because it's uh, it's constant improving uh, necessary. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, obviously, it's a family dealership and that. So, have you always been passionate about the car since you've been a little guy, or was that something you kind of grew into as you got more involved with with the family business and that? Yeah, I've always, you know, cars are so fantastic. You know, the the uh, joy that they bring to your cars and trucks, uh, the uh, just uh, it's fun to have a new car. The freedom they, it gives you, uh, uh, they're fantastic. And uh, you know, so I've not only loved cars and trucks, but uh, I've loved the auto business and yeah. just uh, all the things that come with that. It's a very, very exciting business. And just every day, it's just fun to be in it. So much so that uh, even though I'm uh, snowy on the roof and uh, uh, a lot of my uh, colleagues are uh, looking at retirement right now. Uh, I've got no plans no to plans, huh? retire anytime soon. I'd like to keep at it because it's so much fun. I couldn't imagine uh, doing anything different. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, I've gotten to know you a little bit. Our, our kind of families go back a little bit in that. So I know a lot of the accomplishments you've uh, you've, you've had, whether it be in business, in, in personal stuff and that. But what would you look back and say has been your greatest accomplishment in your career so far? Well, I would say that uh, I'm partners with my three brothers and uh, was partners with my father up until his uh, death a couple of years ago. And I think I could speak for everybody in saying the thing that we feel best about uh, Ryan is uh, 
probably all the career opportunities that we've uh, provided over the years. You know, yeah. we've uh, uh, we we have over 30 dealerships across Western Canada, and uh, uh, you know we've set a lot of people up in their own dealerships, and we have many managers in those dealerships, and we have many salespeople, and uh, it just feels really really good to uh, to help people uh, succeed and, and get ahead. And I know that we've uh, we've helped a lot of people in their careers, both uh, financially and just uh, their quality of life. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Now. Jen and I do quite a bit in the in the community, and we've had a few chats about that over the, the little while you here. But are, you guys are the best. I don't know of anyone in town better than uh, than Ryan and Jen Shields. You guys just do so much. Uh, it's it's fantastic. And I, I appreciate that. And and we both come from it. Honestly, my dad was very involved in the community. I know Jim was too. And and we see you involved all the time, and you have been for for a very very long time. Um, what what are you most proud of from whether it was an organization you're involved in or a specific committee or um, maybe a project or something throughout our community, what kind of stands out for you is, is when you look back and you're really proud of? Well, I want to thank uh, you and Jen for everything you do, Ryan. Uh, I don't give a lot of my time to, to the community. And, you know, it's more money is what, what we would give. And we've supported many, many causes financially, uh, uh, everything from uh, Samaritan House, uh, uh, Helping Hand Soup Kitchen, Murray House Cancer Care Project, uh, uh, Ducks Unlimited and Wetland Preservation, the Riverbank Development Center, uh, what else, uh, the Bear Clan Patrol, just all the great, uh, the great things that are important to our community. And, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, you got a little bit of a, a guest with us here. Who's well, that? Who, got a, is this Ben or is it a jump? This is Ben, yeah. That's my dog, Ben. He, uh, he definitely uh, is a good friend of mine. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, just those sorts of things. And uh, so I wouldn't say there's any one project that's, uh, uh, they're all so important. And we just try and do our share. Yeah? You know, we're not up to the level that you and Jen are, but uh, uh, we certainly want to do our share. And, uh uh, want to be uh, a responsible uh, community member and, and uh, be involved. Yeah, absolutely. Now, as we've talked before and uh, in all the previous episodes, it's not a business. It's not to highlight your business or any businesses, but I I'm remiss to, if I don't ask, over the course of your career, how has business changed for you? I mean, I know in our business how quickly things have changed and continue to change, but looking all the way back to when the first dealership started or when you first got in, how has the business actually changed and evolved? Well, it's just uh, the way you and Jen are using the internet to uh, to further your business, Ryan. Uh, it's certainly the, uh, it's the uh, internet that's the big change in our business, just yeah. the way we market vehicles. Uh, Used car department, especially, uh, uh, really, we, we put all our used vehicles up on the internet. Uh, we need to have good pictures of them. They need to be up there at our very best price. Uh, you know, there's, uh, uh, there's, no, there's no room for, uh, for discounts really anymore because uh, uh, everybody's on the internet. They're comparing your vehicles to somebody else's, and uh, we need to put our best foot forward. So. Uh, that's been a huge change in, yeah. in, in our business over the years. No, I can imagine. Um, now, the, the one staple with, with every, I end every episode with this one question, and it's kind of near and dear to my heart as we grow our kids into uh, what we hope to be great humans and great community people. But looking back over your entire life and, and everything, if there was one message you could give to the youth of today, what would you kind of say to them? Well, I would say... Uh... Start your day with a, uh, a green smoothie, at least one lit liter of uh, green smoothie. It's the best uh, thing to put in your tummy first thing in the morning. Uh, I would say sleep with your window open uh, year round. You know, lots of fresh air. Fresh air is really good for you. So yeah. that, and uh, more seriously, I would say, um, uh, you know, uh, when you're my age, 62 years old, uh, looking back, there's always some things that you wish you, you can see that you could have done better and differently and uh, of course it's too late you can't go back but uh, you know I wish I would have maybe uh, talked to more people back then when I was younger sought out some good advice and maybe uh, they could have just altered uh, 
uh, the direction I took. You know, not that I made any huge mistakes or, or grievous errors. There's always little things that you wish you would have done a little, little bit better. Right? Yeah. I'm sure you're, uh, if you look back, there's an odd little thing you'd like to change up too. So uh, just, uh, just some good advice along the way from the right people. And sometimes you need to uh, dig deep to get that advice. You know, it just doesn't come right away. You, you sort of need to ask a few questions and really... Uh, and really get that, but uh, so you know, I would say for young people and really anybody to to uh, search out some uh, good advice and, and listen to what the person has to say. You don't have to obey, but yeah, it's always good to listen. Yeah, absolutely. So perfect. Well, that's kind of wraps it up. It kind of got got through all the questions I was hoping to get through. Um, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Ryan, and thanks for all you and Jen do. And uh, congratulations on your, your successful business and. Uh, you're, uh, you're a real uh, inspiration for uh, other people in the community. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So, And then uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you again next month.